what's virtualization? So let's look at the agenda of this lesson. So actually in this lesson I want to cover what's virtualization and get you familiar with the concept of virtualization. Uh, then as well we want to talk about why virtualization, so why people virtualize and why do I use virtualization, why did even uh, somebody invented virtualization. So let's start by what's virtualization. So today in the market there are several types of virtualization available out there so if you actually go to, to different vendors and start speaking about virtualization you will figure out they're talking about different type of virtualization so there is server virtualization, storage virtualization, network virtualization and probably uh, other vendor will come up with, a diff with other types but these are the main three that I see in the market today I wanted to make sure that we point out this training itself is focused on server virtualization. Uh, server virtualization is actually uh, the first one of these to raise up. Uh, the other thing server virtualization actually half touch both the storage and network virtualization as well. Uh, though each of them have their own specialty field as well. So I just wanted to make sure you know that we're focusing on server virtualization in this course. Just so going forward, every time I'm referring to virtualization, is really what I'm talking about is server virtualization. All right. So virtualization in that manner itself mean is actually the ability to run multiple operating system concurrently, simultaneously at a single machine. So that's mean you actually could have multiple OS or multiple instances of the same OS running at the same time at the same host. So for, for simplicity let's imagine that you have your laptop and that you could run Windows XP, Windows 7 and Linux, Ubuntu, or Red Hat at the same time. So when we like all of them running next to each other. So this is, might sound familiar or possible to many of the IT people where you actually could install uh, Linux and Windows or two versions of Windows in the same machine but the problem always was to switch between one operating system and the other that you had to reboot uh, to reboot your machine they weren't actually running simultaneously so the secret for virtualization is actually the running simultaneously so both of them running at the same time so the picture here is actually showing one physical server or it could be any any machine really and you'll have a hypervisor in the top of it so we'll talk a uh, hypervisor is actually the virtualization software you install in the machine and that will allow you to run multiple operating system or multiple virtual machines on top of that physical box so let's take a, uh, a, a, a simple example here so here's like a simple example of the simplest form of virtualization or actually even this is like how VMware uh, started their first virtualization offering with VMware Workstation. So with VMware Workstation you could actually install the software which is called VMware Workstation which is a simple hypervisor uh, that you can install right in the top of your OS. So if you have a laptop running Windows XP, Windows 7 or even a Linux you can install VMware Workstation on top of it then you can create multiple virtual machines that could run different operating systems. So on your machine, your base OS could be in Windows 7, just like I have in my machine. Then you can have virtual machines running that have Windows installed on it, another virtual machine that have Linux installed on it, then a third machine running Solaris on it, for example. So actually, to just get you actually more familiar with the concept of virtualization in its simplest form at least for now I want to show you a demo of VMware Workstation uh, though before we, I do that I want to make sure I note that this is not the type of hypervisor that we're going to talk uh, talk about through most of the course we're going to talk about more of the server virtualization and probably we're going to talk about ESXi which is what VMware uh, offer for production use uh, at the server level but here it's like usually seeing it at your laptop level and from end user perspective with VMware Workstation it make the concept much easier so let's start by doing that so 
if you look at my machine here I'm actually running a normal Windows 7 machine so as you can see that's my base OS so this is what I have installed physically in my machine I have Windows 7 running so for some reason I decided I wanted or for my labs actually I decided I want to run Ubuntu Linux and I wanted to run Windows 2008 so if you look here I have actually have Ubuntu Linux totally running uh, by, by the way, this is actually running on the same machine. I'm not remote desktoping to anywhere. This is actually this Linux box. It's totally using the resources of my laptop at the moment. So let's wait on it for a second till the screen come in and be logged in. Logged in. Okay, so while that's logging in, uh, as well I have installed Windows 2008. As well, this is happening on the same machine, and if I wanted just, I could send control, I'll delete, then I could log in and start using that machine. So, this is actually using as well the resources in my machine. Uh, just to prove to you, it's not actually a uh, remote desktop or anything, I could actually come to my network. So as you can see, I don't have any local network connected, and I could as well disable my wireless network. So I still could use these. It's actually running on the same machine here. And let's see if the Linux box came up. So the Linux box has put it up. I could use it now. I could browse on it. Use the LibreOffice just as I'm in a Linux box. So basically, I have three operating system at the moment running on my machine. I could switch to any of them and use it as if I have a really full box. Uh, for example, if you actually, if I was actually to want to use this LibreOffice in here, I could actually go and expand the screen. So I have a full screen of it where I could actually do my work and so on. Then switch back to my Windows 7 machine as you can see it's like simultaneous so all of these operating systems are running at the same time which between them easy in an easy fashion without even having to go and reboot my machine All right, so this is actually what's uh, what's this is like actually not what we're gonna use in your server room or for your product uh, workstation is mainly used by developers or people who want to test a specific application. They don't try it for production, but it's nice to see that actually you can have multiple OS running at the same time at your laptop or PC or so on. And we will talk about the evolution, how stuff have changed from VMware Workstation to VMware ASXi as well in a later lesson. So the the thing I wanted you really to grasp from this demo is that you can actually how virtualization is working and how you get multiple OS at the same time running on the same machine. And by the way, uh, these virtual machines here is nothing but real just files in my hard drive. So if actually, if I go to my drive here, uh, sorry, that's the wrong drive. So if you go to my F drives, then if I go to my vSphere, VMs. So the Ubuntu machine that you have seen in there is actually uh, the file. Sorry about that. Okay, so the files for the Ubuntu machine, uh, as you can see, is here. Is so this is the disk for it, and this is the NVRM and so on for it. Uh, the ones for the Windows 2008 as well is in, in uh, is in this folder as well. So as you can see, it's like just an encapsulated folder where it's actually include all the files for that VM that's running. All right.